I just don't understand why some people feel the need to get up so close to other people. You know what I mean? You have your close talkers, you have your shoulder to shoulder people, and you even have those stupid people who get right up next to you and breathe down your neck. I don't know about you, but I need my space. I'm telling you, this world would be a lot happier if the arm's length distance would just apply. In that case, if you felt someone was too close to you, you could just stick out your arm and say, excuse me, I believe you're a finger's length too close. What's up, Mark? That's it. That's it, Steve. It's over. I'm breaking up with her tonight. Just saw the guy, but she won't admit it. I see the way she looks at him, though, that kid Pablo. Something's up. What kind of look is it? Like, I'm shopping around kind of look? No, oh, one of those was hot and bothered looks. <laughs> Either way, I'm definitely breaking it up with her tonight. That look is just so disturbing, it's really ruining the sex. I think I'm just going to take it to Wilder's. Uh, hey, coffee shop breakup. It's much better than dinner. I'll save a buck or two. Yeah, I, mean, I figure what the hell, definitely the cheap option. It's a little more personal than over the phone. It's how I broke up with Katie and Jamie. Zero baggage each time. Hey, who needs baggage? Hey, tonight. I thought we were going to the gym tonight. You know, it's almost spring break. Look at me, Mark. I can't walk around like this. Look at me. All right. Well, go. It's just, you know, these coffee breakups. 30 minute max, you know me. So I'll get Julia. We'll go to the dining hall. We'll meet after that. Christ, he's at it again. This kid's got problems. It's bad enough that he burns his incense in there. You know, he doesn't have to yell at all hours of the day. Remember the last time Ben came down here? Yeah. He tried throwing his He hasn't been back down here since. Poor kid. <laughs> I am so sick of this. I don't care where the hell this kid is from because if he doesn't shut up, I'm going to staple his lips together. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Do you think maybe you could close your door when you're doing this weird screaming or whatever it is? It's really annoying when I'm trying to do my homework and all I can say is this. Okay, okay, whatever. It's fine. It's, it's musical. Anybody want to go to dinner? Yeah, let me grab my coat. I'll go, but I'm breaking it off with Ashley tonight. Going to Wilder's? Yeah, how'd you know? You're definitely a coffee breakup kind of guy. Really? You think she sees us coming? Do you ever just go to Wilder's? I'm breaking it off with girls. Yeah, you're sweet. Alright, let's get out of here before this kid attracts every dog and heat the Merrimack Valley. <laughs> So I was coming back from class earlier on the bus. There was only like three people on there. And this guy comes and sits down right next to me. I mean, I even had my bag on the seat. I don't know what the hell to think. Don't you hate that? <laughs> Hey, that's the guy I was telling you about. I'm totally sweating him. Sweat? Yeah, hey, I'm gonna go get some food, okay? Okay. Sweat? <laughs> uh, ah, the corner table. Where is she going? this guy think he is? Why is Julia sitting over there? Sorry, no room. There's plenty of other seats. I'll just sit over here. Who's this? There's no need for this closeness. Did he just put his arm around me? What's going on? Ashley, listen, we need to talk. Okay, about what? You see, I'm kind of getting the impression that you might have another guy on the side. 
Well, it's not like we're going steady. We're dating. Doesn't mean we can't see other people, too. What, is this some kind of a joke? I thought we were an item, like Lewis and Clark. Lois and Clark, you jackass. <laughs> I've said this before. You have a thing for Pablo, don't you? Tell me you're not seeing Pablo. Tell me it isn't Pablo. Well, we did hook up the other night. You had sex with Pablo? Oh, I can't believe this. Mark, no. We messed around. You, you messed around? <laughs> <laughs> Mark, please, I've been sweating him since last year. You've been sweating him? What? What? It, sweating? Mark, it's not a big deal. Like I said, we're not going steady. I'm not ready to be committed to someone yet. Well, of course not. You're too busy sweating Pablo. Oh, God, you know what? I have to go. I have to meet Steve at the gym in 15 minutes. She's sweating Pablo. <laughs> Whoa. Hey, Mark. So how'd it go? Not the usual coffee breakup. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get lifting soon. All right, I'll see you in a few. What is this guy doing? There are plenty of other lockers around. There's no need for this closeness. Excuse me? Dude, what? <laughs> okay, I guess I'll just move to another locker. What's going on? None of these are working. Oh, oh no. Oh, oh no. No. No, this isn't happening. This is too close. You wouldn't believe what just happened to me in the locker room. I mean, has anybody heard of personal space? There was this guy in there. So things just aren't working out for me and Ashley. That's a shame. <laughs> Where'd you get the banana? Dining hall. So what happened anyway? You see that guy over there? <laughs> she hooked up with him. <laughs> Said she's been sweating him since last year. Sweating? <laughs> I know, who says that? I really hate that kid. Walks around here with that stupid exercise ball, thinking he's God's gift. <laughs> Sweats him. Hey, dude. How many sets you got left in this machine? Oh, two. Two. I'll be right off. <laughs> cool. I got some fat to burn. <laughs> this world is coming to, since when was it okay to not respect somebody's personal space? I need your input on this one. Hey, you're an attractive young man. A real gentleman. Spider Steve, still having those too close for comfort adventures you keep having? Oh, come on, this is serious. It's like, there's gotta be some kind of closeness ratio. Uh, something. Yeah. <laughs> Have you been listening to me? What? Oh, yeah, nice, Steve. Julia, I'm trying to. All right, no, I was listening. But did you ever think maybe the problem isn't with them? Maybe it's with you. I think you should try to be more open with men. Open? What do you mean, open? Real gentleman. <laughs> See, you really gotta get over this. Try doing something to get more open. Like, when you get on the bus, sit next to a man and start a little conversation. Or when you're in the bathroom, take a piss in the urinal right next to some... Wait, 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 wait. No, no, no. That's not gonna happen. Divider or no divider, you do not take a piss next to another man. <laughs> Uh-uh. No way. Fine. But don't deny that I tried to help you. I'm telling you, if you want to get past these awkward things, you need to control the emotions in your mind. Whenever you get these awkward feelings, look them right in the eye and say, I will not let you be my destruction. I will take you down.
Well, I guess we're gonna give it another try. What another try? Ashley and I, I think it's got some real potential. Yeah, as long as she doesn't sweat too much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Pablo's in a wheelchair for the next few months, and something about like a fall, or I don't know. I don't know. But the main thing is, he's out of the picture for a while. Yeah. I'll be right back. Alright, this is it. Divider or no divider? Here we go. 